You know that I'ma keep it cold With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge cleaning out With us it's all or nothing Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are organizing and decluttering my laundry closet on a budget to provide you with tons of motivation and ideas for organizing your laundry space, whether it is big or small. Make sure you stay tuned to see the before and after transformation. I am super proud of how organized, functional, and cute this space ends up turning out. Everything I purchased for this video was either from Michaels, HomeGoods, or Amazon, so it was super budget friendly. And if you want to see how I organize this space, then just keep on watching. I talked in a recent video of mine where I was decluttering my master closet. I was talking about how sometimes it can just seem so daunting to remove everything from a space at one time and work on it in one large chunk. So occasionally I like to do my decluttering by taking things out a little bit at a time just so I don't get myself too stressed out. But for this project, I wanted to remove everything from this closet so I could just start completely fresh and see what I was working with for space. Since I did want this to look kind of decorative, kind of Pinterest-y, I wanted to make sure that everything was completely out so that I could make it look the best that I possibly could. And then before I did anything else, I just wanted to wipe down everything because it's not very often that a space is completely empty. So I just wanted to get it nice and clean before I started doing anything. This step was a little bit unnecessary, but I just felt like I wanted to have some sort of liner on these shelves since they're just like the closet made wire shelves. So I purchased this from Home Goods and it just adds a little bit of grip and it keeps things from falling through. The next thing that I'm doing is just going through this bin that had winter hats and gloves and things. It was kind of an eyesore and it was just way overpacked. So just went through it, decluttered it a little bit and put it in a prettier bin. And then I'm going through my tool collection. So I am a single mom now and live on my own. So I've been starting a tool collection, trying to teach myself how to do some of the handier stuff on my own. I don't have anything crazy, but I have like the basics and I've been storing them in these clear containers and it just was not the best system. And I didn't really want a toolbox because you know, they're not that cute. So I found this long galvanized bin from Home Goods, and I thought it was perfect for this so that I could just declutter this a little bit, figure out what I actually need and just organize it in a way that I can look directly into the bin and see everything. It's definitely not perfect, but it's so much better. And these handles make it really easy for me to lift it up and down onto the shelf. So I feel good about what I did with my tools. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're in the knees. I wanted to take a second here to shout out my friend Megan from the channel Loving Life as Megan. She posted a laundry closet organization video recently and it totally inspired me to finally tackle mine. I'd been wanting to do it for a while, but that video gave me the push that I needed to finally get it done. 
So if you haven't heard of Megan, I'm going to link her channel down below. She posts a ton of budget DIY makeovers and motivational cleaning and organizing videos on her channel. And she is one of my absolute favorites to watch. So when you are done here, go check out Megan's channel and let her know that I sent you. This gray bin was also from Home Goods. It came in a two pack. It was really inexpensive. And I'm just putting some of my miscellaneous items in there. So I have a couple of reusable grocery bags, which we cannot use right now due to everything going on. They don't allow us to use them at the stores. And then I just had a couple of other miscellaneous things that I had left over from when I organized my junk drawer. If you missed my small kitchen organization series, you can see in the second portion of that when I organized my junk drawer. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put it in the cards right here. <laughs> As far as organizing my laundry products, I actually don't have a lot of them. I'm just kind of the person that uses one or two laundry detergents. I don't have a large collection of different products that I use for stains and for everything else. I keep it very simple. So I ended up purchasing just a couple of glass containers. I purchased one for my dryer balls and then I purchased one to put my scent boosters in, but I did not get a big dispenser for my laundry detergent. As pretty as those are, I just felt like it wasn't completely necessary. And you'll see when we get there at the final reveal of my laundry closet that it looks perfectly fine not having a big laundry soap dispenser. I think that that stuff is cute and I like it, but it's not entirely necessary. And I'm here to tell you that you don't need those things either. So they're pretty expensive. I imagine they'd be a little bit messy and they're just not completely necessary. Everything that we could have been, but I My laundry closet is where I store like everything because it's really the only storage space I have in my apartment aside from my master closet. So I keep my extra cat food in there as well and I just put it in a pretty bin. Since I'm all about maximizing all of my space as much as possible, I'm putting some command hook grippers on the back of my closet doors and those are for my broom and also for my duster. We turn the page and make up A broken dress got you haunted The doubt in you was enough To leave me chasing Since I live in an apartment, I just use command strips for a lot of things. I don't really want to drill a whole bunch of holes in the wall. So I'm using the Velcro command strips. Those are definitely my favorite for hanging things. And I saw this little hack, I guess you could call it, I believe on Facebook, and you basically just put toothpaste where either your nails are gonna go or your Velcro command strips. And when you hold it up against the wall, it's gonna leave toothpaste behind. So you can see either where you need to drill or where you need to place your command strip. And this is awesome. You could put a level on top of your picture or whatever you're hanging as well to make sure it's level, but I just eyeballed it. Um, but this is a really great way to make sure that everything lines up properly and it just makes hanging things so much easier. This lost and found sign I found at Michael's and I want to say it was only $10 when it was originally like $39 or something crazy like that. And I absolutely love it. I think it is so cute. Next, I'm just making a couple of labels for my different jars and bins. This label maker is really cheap and it's awesome. It's an embossed one. I think it just looks really cute. And I'll have that linked in my Amazon storefront as well as anything else that I can find on Amazon from this video or things that are similar. I'll put that in my Amazon storefront linked below. But I did wanna say that I used this label maker in my kitchen organization video and I didn't know that the label maker itself would cut my labels out for me. So I was using scissors and I got a ton of comments from you guys like, you do know you don't need scissors for that, right? And I felt so stupid, but all I can do now is laugh at myself. But I probably should have read the instructions prior to using it in a video for the entire internet to see. Stay. 
they taunt us, but do they really taunt us? Your tongue can be sharp, you've cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. And the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know when we are too You will see here that I'm going to be putting things back, taking them out, putting things back, taking them out a bunch of times. Here, I just kind of threw everything in the closet, but then in a couple of minutes, I ended up just rearranging it a few times just to make sure that I had everything exactly where I wanted it to be. So it might seem a little bit annoying as you're watching this and I am just so indecisive about where I want things, but I promise it all ends up turning out cute in the end. I'll keep my head high while we're crossing the land With all the minds we lay down It's gonna take us some time, but this adorable little coffee bin I got from Home Goods, really, really cheap, and I thought it would work perfectly as a lint bin. So what I did was actually take a couple of my Velcro command strips and I placed those directly over the part of the bin that said coffee and pushed that against the wall. So you would never know that it was a coffee bin now, but I think this thing is so adorable. And I feel like in all of my little organization videos, I've had like one favorite thing the kitchen organization video being my spice rack that you guys are probably so sick of hearing about and then in my part two I had another really cool container that hung up from the top of a shelf and now here I have my lint bin and this thing is just so cute and it's completely extra probably don't actually need one but I just thought it was the cutest idea. This is the part where I'm going to be taking things down and putting them back and taking them down and putting them back over and over and over again until I figure out where I wanted everything. I wanted it to be functional, I wanted it to make sense, but I also wanted it to be pretty, obviously. So I did this a whole bunch of times and I probably could have cut this portion out of the video, but I wanted to keep it real with you guys and show you what my process is when I'm organizing and decorating, so I left it in. Since I live in an apartment, my kitchen is pretty small and these appliances like my Instant Pot and my ice cream maker are just really huge and they don't fit in any of my cabinets. So I'm just throwing those up on the top shelf in the back of this closet. And for the final touch in here, I felt like it needed a little pop of color so I'm putting this pretty purple plant on the shelf and then I also just grabbed a couple of random socks and hung them up on my lost and found sign. So I think I'm done and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. It's even better than I thought that I could do um, for this space. So I really like that my apartment has this extra shelf here because I, as you can see, I need the extra space for storage. So over here I have this adorable little lost and found sign. I got this from Michaels. I want to say it was $10, but it was originally like 39 or something crazy like that but they were having a sale the day that I went and I found it and bought it so I just put a couple of random pairs of socks just to show you guys like what you could do with it but I also just think it looks cute and then these containers I also got from Michaels they were each like under ten dollars this one and this one and this one I just have my dryer sheets and my dryer balls 
And then in here is my method scent booster. I forget the name of the scent that I like, but it smells so good. And then this is my washing machine cleaner, which actually I get a ton of questions about when I use this in my videos. It's just a washing machine cleaner and I spray it after every single load for the most part, as long as I remember. And it just helps to keep your washing machine clean without having to do like a thorough deep clean all the time. So I love that stuff. This is what I like to call my laundry tips because anytime I find change in my laundry, I just throw it in this jar and it's my tips for doing laundry. So one time I collected so much, I was able to buy myself like $50 worth of makeup from Ulta. So my laundry tips come in handy. And then back here is my laundry detergent in a perfect world i would have a really beautiful container that would dispense this but it just seems like a kind of expensive messy purchase like i can just see it leaking and it just being a really big ordeal so i didn't get one and i just use tide free and gentle it comes in a white container so it's not that bad and then over here is where i'm going to put rags that need to be cleaned because i like to wash my like e-cloths and microfiber cloths separately so i just have a little container just for them and i just thought the container itself was really cute with kind of like this wooden lid so these are dirty rags not clean rags they're dirty rags <laughs> and then back here i could not figure out what to do with these things i don't use the downy very often but occasionally i do and then i also have some stain remover back there so I'm still trying to figure out like a cuter alternative for those two things but for now that's just fine and then up here, this is just a little basket. I have all of Carson's winter hats. I have a couple of my hats and then I have winter gloves and things like that in there. And I decluttered that quite a bit because I had kind of an excessive amount. And then in here, this is cat food. So it looks a lot better than putting it in just like the shipping container that it comes in. So I've just got all of Arthur's kitty food in there, easy for me to grab and then this is just a cute little plant. It's actually supposed to be hung up, like it's a hanging plant, but that's not really gonna work in this space. Like, I, I mean, I guess I could hang it up there, but I just thought that it looked cute here and it added some color with the purple, so I'm good with that there. And then this is full of tools. I don't have a toolbox, and this is way cuter than a toolbox, so it's not the most organized thing ever inside, but you can see everything because it's such a wide bin, so I can look right down into it. It's got handles. It's easy for me to pick up and pull down from the shelf and just look at what's in there, so I'm happy with that. And then up top, I have my Instant Pot and my ice cream maker. I just can't fit those in my kitchen, so that's why they're stored in here. And then that is full of miscellaneous items, kind of like a junk drawer, but things that I use even less than what is in the junk drawer. So I just keep all of that up there. And then this obviously is my collection of paper towels. So that is that. I'm so happy with it. And then this is probably my favorite part is my lint bin. I just think it's so cute. So anytime that I have lint from the dryer, I can just throw it in there and then dispose of it when it gets full. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I procrastinate and I just leave the lint like sitting on top of the dryer forever. So I think having like a place to actually put it is a good idea for me. And then this, I wish I could do something about this eyesore, but it is what it is. I live in an apartment, so I can't make everything look perfect. And then over here on my door, I just stuck my broom and this Swiffer duster. And I love these little command strip hanging things. <laughs> they're great. So I'll have those linked in my Amazon storefront. They're really cheap and they're easy to remove. As long as you tug them from right here and just pull straight down, it's not going to damage the surfaces. You just have to be slow and just pull it straight down. And then on the other door, I have my bags here for when I scoop Arthur's litter box. And I'll just throw all of my extra grocery bags and things in here. And it's just a good way to reuse plastic bags. And then I also store my ladder beside the dryer. It's just a good spot to keep it. And over here is for hanging clothing, but I don't use it very often. So I just kind of keep it tucked in there. But this is the final product. I think it came out beautiful. 
and I'm so so happy with it and I feel like I'm going to dread going into this closet a lot less now but that is everything for my small apartment laundry closet organization video I hope that this gave you guys some ideas if you were looking for some or motivated you to go tackle some area in your home I feel like doing the laundry closet is actually really important because Laundry stinks and anything that we can do to make laundry just a little bit less daunting definitely helps. Let me know in the comments below what area you would like to see me organize or tackle next. I would love your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll come back for my next video. Just watch me break it